can you talk about the first 10 minutes? Just what, what you did, what you saw that wasn't working for you guys? Well, uh, the first goal, obviously, uh, we turn a puck over on the wall, give them a breakaway, don't get a save. Uh, I think that's a tough island to put your goaltender on in his first WCHA Final Five game. Uh, and then we get a, and we go down and we draw a penalty uh, and uh, gave up a, a shorthanded goal from probably below the tops of the circles. And so didn't get a great start. Uh, and, and in that situation, especially against a team like Wisconsin, uh, who's as sound as there is in the country defensively, uh, you don't want to give them a head start. And I thought we gave them a head start today. Did you feel like you did after the timeout, maybe? They did seem to play a little more calm, a little, you know, a little more solid on the puck after that. I just saw some growth there a little bit I, of coming I, did, back. I didn't see us creating their offense. If they got anything, I thought it was, it was a combination of them making plays and, and, and playing aggressively. But uh, they're too good of a hockey team to help them create offense. How were your guys emotionally dealing with the injuries, seeing, having to see you guys, two guys, two you guys helped off the ice? Did, did that, you know, it, Guys need to be addressed with that and, and, and being brought back to the moment at all or anything? Uh, you know what, I, I didn't. I, it, you know, if I just saw us fold up tent and say, you know what, I don't think so, uh, I didn't see any of that. Um, you know, we've got a pretty tight knit group. They care about each other, they've backed each other the entire year, and I don't see that changing. Um, the only thing it is, is you have a concern for your teammates. We're going to have to see after they're evaluated and where they stand for uh, next week.